everybody, this is Lisa Hardy from SweetPaperStudios.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. And today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful card using the Painted Seasons stamp set. Um, this is in Stampin' Up!'s annual catalog. And it is available until the end of May 2019. Um, simple stamping is all about going back to basics. So using nothing but your stamps, ink, and paper, which is exactly what I'm, I'm going to be doing in today's tutorial. So it does look like a complicated card, but it's actually really easy, so we can just get started. Okay, before I get started, I am going to bring in my piece of grid paper because we will be doing some off stamping uh, today. And we're going to be using a few different colors and a, f and a few different stamps uh, for this card. Uh, the first thing that you will need is your piece of Whisper White cardstock. This cardstock is four and a quarter inches by 11 inches, and we're just going to fold that in half to start. Okay, so then we're left with that. And we're going to be using two stamps to start, and that's um, this one, this floral image here, and this one here. Now this set is a two stamp, uh, two step image. So we stamp this one first and then add some dimension uh, with this one over top. Now to start, uh, we will be using the Berry Burst uh, ink. Uh, this ink is part of the In Color inks that will be retiring this year, sadly. Berry Burst is my absolute favorite color. Um, out of all of Stampin' Up's colors, so um, this will be available to the end of May. Uh, but however, because they are retiring, the inks, cardstock, and the ink refills always sell out fast. Um, so I would urge you to purchase these in my online shop as soon as possible before they sell out. Um, and there's a couple of other colors as well, and I'll talk about those in a second. Um, so the first one we'll need is Berry Burst. And we're going to use the first floral image to create, start creating our card. Uh, you can just go and stamp that. And we'll stamp the first image in the corner here. Okay. And we'll do the other one down here. And we'll stamp this slightly off the page as well. Now this doesn't look like much right now, but again, this is a, a two-step stamp, so we will be um, creating some dimension here. So we'll do that one right there. Put one in the corner. And a little bit down here. And we'll finish off by putting one right up in this corner here. Okay, so next we're going to grab this step two uh, stamp and we're going to bring in some rich razzleberry. This is also another great color. Um, so you can go ahead and ink that and you're just stamping over top of the first image. Um, it doesn't have to line up exactly, but you'll see that it just creates some beautiful dimension. That's one thing I love about the Painted Harvest stamp set is it's really versatile. Um, you can do more than just your standard yellow sunflower with it, and you can really play around with all sorts of different colors. Okay, so you're just gonna continue it adding this layer on top, even the ones that are not fully um, fully there, just add a little bit of dimension just to add some consistency to the card. There, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is add in some leaves, and we're going to do so with this uh, stamp right here, sort of the background image for the leaves. 
and we're going to use Tranquil Tide for that. This is another one of our in colors that we'll be retiring this year. So um, there's a full color suite and that includes Tranquil Tide, Berry Burst, Lemon Lime Twist, Powder Pink, and Fresh Fig. All are going away sadly. Um, so I'll put those details down below this video and on the coordinating blog post as well. So this is the stamp that you're going to use and you'll notice that this one here has a little stem at the bottom. Uh, we're not going to stamp that so when you're when you're inking up your image just ink up sort of slightly where those leaves meet. Okay and then we're just going to add them in in between some of these petals just like that and you're just going to randomly add them in throughout the card. Go. I'll go ahead and add one here. Now when I'm placing these, I want to make sure that I'm not stamping the leaves on, um, sorry, over top of the flower. So just sort of carefully fill in that white space. It's okay if it goes a little bit over top, but generally we want to um, not overlap any of our stamping. Uh, let's bring this over here. Uh, let's put this here. Maybe inevitable where you get a little bit of overlap, but you can sort of play around with it. Maybe we'll add just some right there. And I think we'll just bring one more at the top here. Oh. It's okay if you drop your stamp. So luckily it's not on top of your card. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, for the next step, we're actually gonna work on our sentiment um, because we are going to be adding some other elements in between this white space. So uh, we want to add the sentiment now because we want to limit the amount of background that we're stamping on just to make sure that that sentiment really pops on this card. So we will be using the I am thankful for you sentiment and I will be using the stays on ink. This is jet black. Now this one, whenever I'm using um, a stamp that really has beautiful font and writing in it, I always like to test on the side just to make sure that I'm going to have no issues with stamping. Okay, so that one looks good. So I'll ink that back up and then I'm ready to stamp. And we're going to just do it on this lower flower here, just sort of over top. There you go, so beautiful. Now we do want to fill in the center of these flowers, so we're going to bring in some early espresso ink, it's this one right here. And we're going to be using this sort of center um, stamp right here. And I don't want anything too dark, so I'm just going to stamp off first and then I'll stamp inside because I really want something light. Perfect. Let's 
really creating some really nice dimension on these flowers. Beautiful. Like I'm happy with my decision to leave that white space because I don't think I can squeeze them some flowers there. Okay, so we have one more thing to do for the card um, and you will actually need that early espresso ink. And we're gonna add some filler to this card and add these little dots right here, just um, just for an extra added touch to, to this card. So again, you want them light as well. So uh, you can stamp off depending on how, um, how wet your ink pad is, but you're just going to sort of st stamp in and fill in the white space not entirely because you still want to have a little bit of white throughout, but enough that you're just adding a little extra dimension to the card. And of course you can stamp off with this as well, just to fill in the white space on the sides. And again, you're just going to keep going throughout the white space. Filling in some of those gaps. Making sure you add some at the top and on the sides just to make sure that it's consistent throughout. And I think I might add, try to add some over here. And in there. And maybe just below the sentiment. Actually try to add some in there as well. Perfect. And then that's it. You are done your card. Done your simple stamping card with the painted harvest stamp set. Oh. It's quick and easy, beautiful colors, and it really add some dimension with this two-step stamp. Um, so thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Um, all of today's products uh, will be listed below in the comment section. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to post a comment below and consider please subscribing to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. Uh, the corresponding blog post will be up on my website at www.sweetpaperstudios.com. And again, thank you so much for watching today. Bye!